Every single self-improvement YouTuber is telling you to never touch video games again. But what if I told you I have a formula that you may have never heard of before that may solve this issue completely? A few months ago, all of my friends started buzzing about this game called Sea of Thieves and they had invited me to play with them. At this point though, I had videos up on my channel telling people that video games are bad. So if I say yes to my friends now, I'm gonna turn out as a little bit of a hypocrite. But after some coping, I decided to say yes. I mean, what harm can a little bit of video games do, right? And I ended up spending 17 hours on that game in the span of two weeks. Doesn't take a self-improvement guru to guess that during that time I was not really healthy or productive. However, you can also guess that this is not the only way you can play video games. Let me introduce you to the concept found in Christianity called the Shabbat or the rest day. I'm sure you are all familiar with the concept of the rest day in the gym. You need to give your body some time to rest up to recover so that you can maximize your gains. We know we all know this, right? What if I told you you could have a rest day from self-improvement to actually boost your productivity? Sounds good, right? God created the earth in six days and rested on the seventh day. So that's why we as Christians also work for six days and rest on the seventh day. That is the concept of the day of the Lord. Okay, I'm gonna clear it up straight away. This doesn't mean that you can masturbate and eat junk food it's not a cheat day, it's a rest day. But something such as video games that is not that bad if it's truly done in moderation could, in my opinion, be enjoyed during your rest day. But notice how I said, truly done in moderation. You need to be honest with yourself. Can you truly be moderate in the amount of video games that you play? Don't just wait for the rest day and then spend the entire day playing video games. That's an indicator that you have a problem and you should probably quit video games altogether. And another problem that could appear is if you find yourself thinking and obsessing over video games during the other days when you should be working and then you end up being distracted from the work. In that case, you should also probably just cut it out. You might have an addiction. But if you were to just enjoy them one or two hours every week on your rest day, maybe not even every week, then I don't see a problem with playing video games. And I don't really think that anyone would disagree. So whether you should keep on playing video games or not pretty much depends on you personally. And as somebody who has never really been much of a gamer, I don't have a problem with keeping it in moderation. Do you? Answer that for yourself. But steering away from video games, let's talk more about the rest day itself. Why is it a good idea to have a rest day from self-improvement? I personally found, and some studies show, that I can do way more work and way more quality work during the week if I have a full day of rest where I do zero work waiting for me at the end of the week. During my work days, I can also cut down and sacrifice some free time so that I can work more easily because I know that a rest day is waiting for me soon. And I honestly enjoy my life a lot more because working a lot on something that's meaningful makes me very fulfilled and happy with myself and a full rest day after a good productive week just feels amazing i would honestly live like this even if i had pockets full of like infinite money because i believe that just resting if you haven't done any work to deserve the rest just makes you depressed it's not even a good feeling and only working without having any time to rest it's gonna make you kind of burn out and miss out on your life a little bit so a day of rest is a great way to avoid both of these problems during the rest day you can play video games you can watch a movie you can spend time with your family pursue a hobby or even just do nothing relax all day and during my work week i can grind way more so that i can produce more content for you please subscribe and after all it's in the bible it's the word of god so it can be false some people even believe that it's a sin to work on shabbat but let's not get too deep into theology in a video about gaming if you have questions and you want to learn more go read the bible i highly recommend trying out this model of a productive week i have my rest day on sunday and that works amazing for me and when you are on your rest day relaxing from a week of work why not take a little bit more time than usual to pray read the bible and just show some gratitude to the lord for giving you this day of rest that will fit nice into a christian self-improvement routine and on a side note if you're interested in seeing more about christian self-improvement i made a video that's like a little guide on it so it's here if you want to watch it if you don't want to that's completely fine have a great day and god bless you bro